Hello everyone, this is a case of uh, an APROP baby which underwent laser for the same. Post laser, the baby developed a central TRD at the posterior pole with a PFB. Now, what we see here is the anterior stalk of the PFB attached behind the lens, and this stalk goes all the way behind to the posterior pole. And what we begin with a simple core vitrectomy. Now, what we can see is that the posterior pole is tented up like a red tent, and the anterior stalk we can see here is. So, what we begin with is we use the cutter to trim the stock behind the lens. Now we have planned to do a lens sparing vitrectomy in this case. We uh, now, if you see it as a lens uh, tent, then we try want to trim all the ropes that is the vitreous fiber that is tinting up this lens. We begin it by doing it as much core vitrectomy as possible, and we can see here the laser marks well taken up in this patient. Now after we have done a complete vitrectomy over the all the sides of the stent and up retina. We uh, once we are done with this, the plan is to uh, release the cent to try to release the central buckler or the stock, which is and I mean uh, holding up the whole of the retina tinted up. Now the intention to do the same is by using a sandy illumination and using a seizure as as to dissect this this uh, central pucker or stalk which is holding up or folding up the retina this baby uh, that i was also presented with the same and uh, this um, and this is around this the this mismatch between the two eyes is around six weeks so we are waiting up whether this patient will worsen or not and eventually this patient worsen and this is the presentation so under sandal illumination we could dissect this uh, stock center stock what we uh, what was actually the uh, we can see the limitation here is that at the posterior to the lens there is uh, some amount of attachment and that is hindering our tear view so we have to manipulate the eye in such a way that we get a uh, tear view we also use the seizures to bluntly dissect through it and once we have able to do it we could see that there is we could have find the correct plane under which we could identify that central pucker and once we have able to do that we uh, use the in this case we are using the ILM forceps to hold the hold the pucker and then we give a final nick and we can see that we have almost freed the retina from the central pucker and then we dissect it and it was free so we are now at the end of the surgery and once it is done the goal of the surgery is achieved with the completion of the core vitrectomy you can see the folds more, more clearly and hopefully in few weeks this retina will settle down and a natural or anatomical configuration can be achieved as much as possible we do a partial fluid air exchange see the periphery of the retina and then do a close by and then a partial fluid air exchange we do hope that there is no hypotony so obviously on the ports and the sutures we are going to be 23 years system thank you for watching this video thank you